What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla C, otherwise known as Porcelain Zen, and I want to thank you for tuning into this video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to successfully execute your own photo shoot at home. So I have my notebook here. For you guys, I wrote down a bunch of different notes because I really want to be very specific. A lot of people think that this is really difficult. It doesn't have to be. Okay, so there are four main components that come to my mind when it comes to doing your own photo shoots at home. So the first thing that you're going to need to execute a successful photo shoot at home is lighting. Now, lighting is the most important component to doing this photo shoot stuff. So there are two types of lighting that you want to consider. Natural sunlight, right? Or you can consider artificial lighting. Artificial lighting is basically like what I'm using right now. And I'm using two panel lights that I got from Amazon. So this would be considered like artificial lighting or what would be considered like on your iPhone in portrait mode it would be considered like studio lighting so this would be for more of like that really crisp professional look natural light would be if you were to take photos in front of like a window the bigger the window the further back you can be the smaller the window the closer that you want to be either way that natural lighting should be able to filter in without any problem and I personally like shooting in natural natural lighting better just because I feel like it just makes more sense like instead of having to like go in and spend so much time editing for exposure and brightness and stuff like that if you don't know what any of these words mean feel free to either comment down below and I can definitely make a separate video to explain these terminologies and things that I'm talking about for lifestyle content fashion content models and stuff like that makeup beauty content I think that it's super important to use like natural lighting just for the simple fact that natural lighting enhances like that glow not like stark white you know what i mean natural light just it does its thing naturally it hugs shadows it it you know it just does its thing now when it comes to doing your own photo shoot at home you can go ahead and just sit in front of like a window with natural light if you are in like an apartment or you know if your room is kind of small just set up a little desk space and you know film your content take your photos or whatever if you're shooting more like full body fashion content or you know taking photos for your brand and you really want to use natural light you want a bigger window because what happens is the window is obviously letting in more light into the space i like to go and rent pair spaces which are like airbnbs for creative projects so whether it's like a pop-up shop or a fashion show or um you know a photo shoot you can always go on pair space i'm gonna link them down below so you guys can have access to that if you don't already but definitely check them out if you're into that kind of thing now on to artificial lighting artificial lighting is absolutely my favorite because it gives you more control i may be a little bit of a control freak i feel like online it just looks a lot crisper it looks a lot cleaner i feel like artificial lighting is just chef's kiss the two lights that i'm using right here are panel lights from amazon they're not huge they can bend they're also like detachable also come with different settings so you can play around with different modes on these and get different effects these effects work amazing on like TikTok. These come in different colors. So they come in literally every color of the rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, blue, green, pink, purple, and then this white one. So everything except black. The only downside to that is all of these are plug-ins. Overall, I have about six that I use, depending on like what content I'm shooting. So similar to the window example that I gave, the smaller the window, the smaller the light, the closer you want to be. The larger the window, the larger the light, the more back that you can be. And I think that it's really important to remember that factor because you're thinking about something so small giving you like a strobe of light like one strong source of light right as opposed to a big light or like a big window there's more light that can come in and be filtered this piece is basically like considered a diffuser the light right now is directly on me it's giving me like this really bright white dotty light oh that rhymes the lighting is just completely different you want to think of this diffuser as kind of like a projector screen right so it's taking the source of light from the panel and then it's dispersing it all over right this is about the size but it's still giving me enough to where it's not directly hitting in that one one lane that the light is giving me you definitely want to make sure that when you do order you keep these pieces 
if you don't have access to these panel lights and you want to just use lights that you already have in your house as in like light bulbs or something like that you may want to consider getting like an umbrella or you can order like a reflector on amazon or you can just go to the 99 cent store and get some sort of like see-through white material preferably like white like an opaque but you don't want to get something that's going to burn either your lights are going to have to be protected as in you're going to have to have something over your lights and then use that i literally used to have like my light bulbs and i would just take like white garbage bags and just tie them over or like the clear plastic garbage bags that did the job just the same but you know over time you gotta you know upgrade and get the things that you need lighting is super important because it cancels out shadows like these right here to cancel these shadows of my hands out i would literally have two more lights that are pointing directly this way or directly at the back that way the wall is lit up and then that cancels out the shadows follow me follow me the next thing that is super important with lighting is positioning you really want to get your lighting positioning down packed and figure out what angles and stuff works for you because i do find that that make or breaks a lot of the content that i make what i would recommend is having one huge main source of light i have a huge panel light that's about the half of me so i'm about five six so whatever half of me is oh that light i have directly in front of me like and this you want to make like your biggest source of light just because you want it to be focused directly on you so the biggest light that is its job is to focus directly on you then i have two of those panel lights I have one on this diagonal and then i have one on this diagonal now, depending on if you're shooting like full body or half body or whatever headshots or whatever the case may be this may be just sufficient with just three lights right require more lighting then you would place one the furthest away from you but they would be directly facing this way and then directly facing this way i would say at least like an arm's length away from you but those would be facing each other what that's gonna do is it's gonna make sure that these two lights that are pointing directly at you that is basically going to cancel out any shadows or any glitches that those lights may be giving you you following great same diagonals that you have here you're gonna have two more of those you're gonna have them in the back of you now those are gonna be in a little bit closer and these lights have those and those are gonna be facing the diagonals that are in the front now that is gonna make sure that you have 360 lighting so you want to make sure that all of these lights are at their highest power their highest volume most of the time when i'm using all of this artificial lighting i turn the lights off right now i'm filming in my closet with my lights off it's really important to make sure that everything is balanced so if you have a bunch of artificial light you can tone the natural light down if you have too much natural light you may need a little artificial light to balance it out the next thing that we're going to talk about is of course your backdrop or your background for your photo shoot it's really important to decide whether you want solid or artificial backdrop when i talk about a solid backdrop right you can use something like this which is like a white wall you can go and purchase like wallpaper and go and purchase solid rolls of paper um, i'm not really too much of a fan of those just because i like more like scenery if i'm giving a boiler room look i'm gonna give you a boiler room outfit if i'm giving tennis court i'm giving a tennis court background like that takes me into artificial backgrounds yes about photoshop now photoshop is one of my favorite 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 things to do when i'm creating content just because i feel like it doesn't limit my creativity and i feel like as long as you're doing it well and as long as like it looks believable i think that like go for it at this point in my career i have access to places and scenery but it just gets like super time consuming it just depends on like the vibe that i'm trying to give you can always go in and download apps like photo room photo grid and canva i think there is like an actual photoshop app but you might have to pay for it my favorite app to use is photo room and i love photo room because it literally i pay for the pro membership and literally what it does is it chooses backgrounds for me and then I can just go in and like fine tune it to what I need. If you guys want a separate video on photoshopping, then comment a camera emoji down below and I'll be sure to drop that, uh, you know, ASAP. 
when it comes to solid backdrops, right, you can always go in and DIY it. Let's say, for example, if you sell jeans, right, you can always go in and make your own backdrop. So you can go in on Amazon and type in denim backdrop and you may find some denim printed backdrops, right? Now, if you have, let's say, like a bunch of jeans, if you went around your house and you collected jeans from everybody in your house or you asked your friends and you're like, I need three pairs of jeans for everybody. You take all of those jeans and you can literally take like bobby pin not bobby pins you can take like safety pins or thumbtacks or you know stuff like that pin them all together and make your own backdrop it's all about just like being creative and being just like really solution oriented and just really thinking about things so like if i know i want to do like a country western shoot i'm gonna get online and i'm gonna look up country western photo shoots and when i think of country western i think of cowboy hats do i want to do a wall of cowboy hats do i want to do um like a wall of flannel do I want to do a, a wall of belt buckles like you know you all it's just all about like thinking really in depth about your idea and the details if you're not able to come up with these ideas you can always reach out to me you can email me you can DM me and we can get to work and I can help you like develop some of these ideas that you may have sitting in your little noggin that just need to get out because you have creation and you have inspiration inside of you and you have no idea how that can help others no matter how small it is you have no idea just an example of this um, was for my birthday i did two photo shoots you can see both of them here um and one was like a real retro like party theme very vintage very retro and forward and then this shoe i ended up um on pinterest just like in the middle of the night and i just really thought about like you know this birthday was really important because i feel like 27 was such a well 27 is such like a blooming age because it's like you know 25 and down you're still like playing around but then it's like 26 you're kind of like waiting in the middle it's like I'm too old for this, but I'm too young for this. So 27 kind of like solidifies and puts you in that like grown woman realm. I was really like blooming, sprouting, blooming. Yeah, so just something to think about. For this foil photo shoot, went and purchased like this huge roll of foil, like huge from like Costco or something. And then I just literally tore pieces like i measured it with your backdrops just a note you always want to make sure that you have at least a foot above you and two feet below you you always want to make sure that your backdrop matches your floor so that's what the two feet is about so the next component of diy photo shoots that i'm super excited to get into because i feel like it's just my realm it's my thing is the look like the looks the looks the looks like i really want to see in 2023 like us black girls and black men black creators just get really creative in terms of like the content that we're putting out like so much can be done if you really like zoom in and focus on like the smaller details like just the idea that you literally like planted a mustard seed and said yeah i want to incorporate bows in this photo shoot and i said to myself well birthday suit nude okay we can use the bows to cover up like you know what i mean but if we're gonna do that that's gonna create a specific look we want to feed into that look and we want to create something that gives retro so okay we need colored hair it was either pink bob or red hair i feel like the red hair gave me like farrah fawcett very like you know ha huh, air blown paper magazine like you know what i mean and then the stars on the brows I'm a star like that's just what it is like I'm just a star it's just something I saw in the dollar store and I was just like yeah that's fire let's do it like you know what I mean so the flower look as I said I looked it up on Pinterest my grandmother just had like a lot of really like ethereal and you know goddess like curtains like a lot of satin a lot of lace and stuff like that you know Caribbean people my grandmother was a 68 year old Trinidadian may her soul rest in peace so you already know her curtain game went crazy I like draped them all together and then I had this like step stool you know that you use for like construction I had like a step stool in the house because we were like doing repairs and stuff and I just took one of the curtains boom draped it over that so it looked like kind of like a throne or it just looked like it fit you know what i mean i really wanted to commit but still give it a twist still make it me still you know make it porcelain zen like make it kayla right the look just committed it just gave like very modern the bantu knots like with the flowers and the hair like you know what i mean very goddess like but you know i'm i'm raw i'm in like a pure soft 
um rare energy that you only hit when you turn 27 my girlies that know they know like 27 just hits different like i just i done cut the hair all off like it just hits different you putting together your look for these photo shoots is you really just want to be yourself like be authentic so the next thing that we're going to touch base on is equipment now equipment is the most asked anybody ask me what do you film on what do you record on right now i'm filming on my canon g7x right and it is my favorite video camera like of all time it's great for photos but i also have another dslr i have a canon t7 and a canon t5 those i use for like my photo shoot photos and then this i use for like vlogging and stuff like that but the great thing about this canon g7x is the fact that it has wi-fi and bluetooth capabilities so i can literally shoot photos and videos on this camera and send it directly to my phone edit it boop 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 and I'm out the door and I'm outside on the ground. Super easy to charge, it's super small, easy to carry, and it just works. Well, I don't want you to take this as you need to run out and go get this camera right now because a lot of people think that they cannot start shooting their content until they get to that, you know, status where I have my lights, I have my camera. Everybody has to start from somewhere, right? You can always shoot on your phone, but it's all about the style and model of your phone and it's also about customizing your settings to go for the look that you're going for. If your lighting is great, it doesn't necessarily matter. Like a camera or a phone is not gonna make or break your content because your lighting is just that phenomenal unless you are shooting on just like a crappy quality phone. Like, So when it comes to like my makeup content, my beauty content and stuff like that, I love shooting on my phone because I don't have to worry about sending things from the camera to the phone back edit do this do that it's just a lot what i find most effective is like if you're gonna shoot on your phone make sure that your lighting is phenomenal if you're gonna shoot on your camera then just make sure that your lighting is balanced with like your camera settings so if you are gonna use your phone right you want to download apps like lens buddy so if you made it to the end of this video right applause and cheers for you i know that you're about to go out there and kick ass and do great things i'm so happy that i was able to get this video out to you because you've been asking you can definitely expect to see more content like this here on my youtube channel if you're not subscribed already then what you doing like subscribe okay like we're on the road we're still on the road to a thousand subscribers but hey i'm enjoying the journey and i just want to make sure that i'm being consistent and i'm uploading i'm showing up for you guys period but thank you guys so much for tuning into this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye